Well, today we have four lessons and let's start with the first one. Okay. Three, two, one, and start. Let's share the screen. Today we will learn creative ways to say set, okay? Because they mean desir, but they also have another meaning. Let's start. Why is this important? Because you can be more descriptive, okay? Apart from saying say, you express the feeling, okay? Apart from that, you keep the reader's attention and moreover, avoid redundancies. So let's start with the first one, persuade. We have the first one, pleaded. You know, the verb is plead. Plead means say. Plead okay. means say, but what is the difference? That you use plead when you want to make an urgent emotional statement or request for something. Imagine, imagine that you have a girlfriend, okay? You have a girlfriend and your girlfriend, um, she wants to break up with you. She wants to break up with you. Instead of saying, Raul said, don't leave me. Raul said, don't leave me. You can say, Raul pleaded, don't leave me. Did you understand? Because mm -hmm. it means Raul dijo, no te vayas. Raul pleaded. Plead and say they are the same, but uh, you need to make sure that you use plead when you want to say something um, related to your emotions. So is it like suplicar? Similar like that in Spanish, okay. suplicar, uh -huh. suplicar. Uh -huh. Okay, en lugar de decir, él dijo no te vayas, él suplicó no te vayas. Pero, mm -hmm. pero con qué? Porque le solicitas algo. Dame dinero, give me money. He, re, he pleaded, give me money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say? Mm -hmm. Next. Yes. You, you get that part, right? You, you request yes. for something. Or yes. it's an urgent emotional statement. Like, he pleaded, I love you, please don't leave me. You see? Mm -hmm. Emotional statement. Then yes. we have beg, beg in the beg. past, begged. Mm -hmm. w what is the difference? It is like when, for example, uh, a child said, uh, I want a balloon. He said he wanted a balloon. No, he begged he because when you begged, urgent requests, mm -hmm. make a very strong, uh, just for requests. And the previous one, emotional statement, but mm -hmm. begged. Is the same. It's similar to pleaded, but in this mm -hmm. case, it's just for urgent requests. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. El niño dijo quiero ese globo. Quiero ese globo. Él dijo, pero él no dijo. Él backed. ¿Qué cosas backed? Decir como uh, quiero ese globo. You know, like a kid. Mm -hmm. Yes. He uh -huh. backed in the past. Then uh -huh. we have. Uh, it could say implorar. It could be backed. Uh -huh. It could be. Implorar. Uh -huh. Yes, because I need yes. something. It's an urgent request back. Mm -hmm. Then we have entreated or entreat. Entreat is like when you try to, to make someone change their mind because you want someone to do something for you. Okay. okay? So it is like in Spanish, maybe encaramelar, mm -hmm. something like that. You say, mm -hmm. if you help me... If you help me with the presentation, I'll work uh, your weekend shift. Uh -huh. Si tú me ayudas con la de presentación, trabajaré tu turno de fin de semana. So uh -huh. I say something in order to, to change it's your it. mind, uh -huh. to persuade. Yes. Please, uh, Raul, can you help me? And then I can clean your house. He said, Raul, help me. No, he entreated. He entreated. Uh -huh. Porque lo que dijo quería hacerme cambiar de opinión. Me quería okay. persuadir, es entreated. Entonces, no siempre vas a usar he said, she said. No, mm -hmm. no. Then we have implored, similar to Spanish, implorar. Mm -hmm. Ask mm -hmm. someone to do or not to do something in a very sincere, emotional and determined way. Please don't give me a speeding ticket, she implored. Implorar, pedir. So she mm -hmm. implored, please don't give me a speeding ticket. You see? 
No okay, ice. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are four words when you want to persuade someone. Persuade to make someone to do something for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Las cuatro okay. es cuando tú quieres eh, decir algo que otras personas hagan por ti. Te suplico, mm -hmm. te imploro. Te imploro. Te pers eh, eh, again, casi todas significan implorar o suplicar, pero mm -hmm. tienen un, 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 una pequeña diferencia. Por ejemplo, en el plead lo vas a hacer cuando tienes una emoción, ¿no? Cuando mm -hmm. tu mamá se va a ir, eh, he said, mom, uh, don't leave me, no. He pleaded. Porque mm -hmm. era con emoción, ¿ok? El niño dijo, no, el niño no dijo, cómprame ese globo, el niño be backed, he backed, buy me that balloon. ¿Por qué? Porque él lo necesitaba, mm -hmm. él lo quería. Entreated, ah, mom, if you, if you let me go out at the party, I can clean the house. Oh, he said, mom, I can clean the house. No, he entreated his mom. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, nice. Entreated. Like, look at this, please don't give me a speed and take it, she implored. Then we have besieged. Besieged is to ask for something in a way that shows you need it very much. He said, the boss, I need this race. I need this race. No, he didn't or she didn't say. He besieged. You, you see? Uh -huh. Ask for something, pedir algo de una manera que muestre que lo necesitas. Imagínate que vas a pedir apoyo. Raúl didn't say, I need help. I need the, I need the house. He besieged, I need the house. Cuando lo dices, lo dices porque lo necesitas. Un decir mm -hmm. algo porque lo necesitas o ser besieged in the past. Mm -hmm. Next, this is the okay. next one. It's very common. A jewel. Cajul is similar is similar to the previous one, entreated. But what is the difference? That you persuade someone to do something they might not want to do by pleasant talk and promises. For example, you say, Raúl said, I can buy flowers if you go with me. I can buy flowers if you go with me. No, he didn't say, he cajuled. I can buy flowers if you go with me. Kajul. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. Because maybe she doesn't want to go to the party with you. But when you say, I can buy some flowers for you, maybe she can change her opinion or change her mind. You see, mm -hmm. you kajul. You kajul. Oh, look at that boy. He's kajuling his mother. Ah, he's kajuling. He's saying things that maybe her, uh, his or her mother doesn't want to do, but that he wants. Mm -hmm. You see, oh, he's scheduling, he's scheduling, you see? Mm -hmm. Then okay, we have nice. this word, maybe you are very familiar with the word insisted. Yes, insisted. When you insist, similar to Spanish, when you say something again and again and over again, you insist, mom, buy me that car, mom, buy me that car, mom. No, he insisted on buying mm -hmm. that car, insisted, okay. mm -hmm. demanded. Demanded is when you ask for something forcefully in a way that shows that you do not expect to be refused. Demanded. Mm -hmm. For example, the teacher, the teacher said, please bring your IDs. The teacher said, please, uh, sorry, the teacher has said, please bring your ID. No, he demanded. He demanded, please bring your IDs. Okay, mm -hmm. because the teacher expect students not to refuse. Mm -hmm. He assume that everyone is going to bring their IDs. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Demand. Any questions? Kajul insist demand? No? No, it's okay. There are different Kajul, ways. Kajul is like sobornar? No, Kajul is, is, is like say, but when you mm -hmm. say good things. Okay. okay. Uh, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe for example, you don't want to clean the house because you are tired. Uh, Raul, uh, I can buy some bottle of, of Mickey for you. Maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. this is, Carlos is scheduling Raul. Mm -hmm. Te estoy diciendo cosas para hacer que hagas todo eso de decir algo que haga que la persona decir algo para que a la otra persona cambie y lo haga es mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Then we have the word gushed. 
gosht to express a positive feeling, especially praise. Sometimes in such a strong way that it doesn't sound sincere. For example, mm -hmm. imagine, uh, imagine that you, maybe imagine there is a girl, there is a girl, and there is another girl. Uh, they are not friends; they are enemies, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Pepita says, "Oh, Juanita, you look amazing." Pepita didn't say, "You look amazing." Pepita gushed, you look amazing. Because when you say something, you mm -hmm. you are not like very honest. Okay. Uh -huh. You see? She she doesn't think that she is she looks amazing. She's saying that because she hates, or maybe because she wants to say something, but it doesn't mean mm -hmm. that she looks amazing. You see? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Entonces, gosh es cuando dices algo, pero no es sincero. Mm -hmm. Ok. O, oh, yes, this is for that. En lugar, Pepita le dijo que luce genial. Sí, pero ella no lo dijo sinceramente. Entonces, sí, Pepita, sí. Pepita, gosh, Pepita said no. Pepita said no, Pepita gosh. Porque lo que dijo no fue sincero. You see? Mm -hmm. okay. Then we have cheered. Cheer is to give a loud shout of approval, of encouragement. We won, she cheered. When you cheer something, you want to encourage. For example, you can do it, you can do it. People said you can do it? No. no People cheer. cheer, you can do it because you want to encourage. Mm -hmm. Because you want to encourage, you cheer. You didn't say. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Th there are different ways to say say, right? But it depends on the context, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. You might find these verbs uh, when you read some books, when you read uh, stories, when you read a novel, maybe you can find these, these verbs. Then we have tout. Tout. Tout means to advertise or to talk about or praise something or someone repeatedly, especially as a way of encouraging people to like. Accept or buy something. Imagine that there is a cleric, there is a, a salesman in the supermarket, mm -hmm. okay? This person is working, of course. And when you go, you say, wow, this product is really cool. This product can help you. This product is user-friendly. He's saying good things about the product. So mm -hmm. the cleric didn't say good things. The cleric touted good things. When okay. you when you say something good about something, maybe because you want people to like, to accept, or to buy, you use the word tout. No. You see, for example, when you are uh, applying for a job and th there is an interview, of course, uh, someone probably in here in Peru, uh, the headhunter or someone in charge of this interview say something like, please. Tell this product, tell mm -hmm. this product, say good things about the product in order to uh, make people buy this. Okay, uh -huh. tell. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have laughed. What is laughed? To a smile while making sound with your voice that show you think something is funny or you're happy. Mm -hmm. you, you see, laugh means says, but I don't understand because you say, <laughs> you are so funny. You know, there's a... I'm saying I'm saying uh, something while I'm laughing, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm speaking, of course. So I am laughing. It means that I am saying something while I am smiling and laughing. You see? Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then we have chortle. Chortle is to laugh, showing pleasure and satisfaction. Okay. It is like, for example, uh, Pepito Chortle, uh, he, he said... Uh, Pepito Chortle, he said, wow, there is a great promotion for uh, someone here. You see? Okay. With pleasure, mm -hmm. you know? And then we have giggle. Giggle. A giggle is to laugh repeatedly in a quiet but uncontrolled way. Often at something silly or rude when you are nervous. Giggle mm -hmm. means say but what's the difference that when you say he giggles something, mm -hmm. you are laughing. 
you are laughing. You see? Mm -hmm. okay. Did you understand? A good example could be, imagine that you are, okay, there is, there is, a, there is, a, I don't know, an assassin in here. And you are, mm -hmm. and, and, and you saw that this person killed someone. You mm -hmm. saw. But this person is, uh, is your brother. Maybe he is your brother. The killer is your brother. So the killer giggle. What are you doing mm -hmm. here? So the killer didn't mm -hmm. say, what are you doing here? The killer giggle because he is nervous. When mm -hmm. you say something, when you are nervous, you are giggling something. You are mm -hmm. not saying because you know when you are near, but you're big luck like this, you know? Uh -huh. Okay. Like this nervous. is giggle. Uh -huh. Yes. When you speak nervous, you, you, you giggle. You don't say uh -huh. something. So how would it be in Spanish, giggle? Uh, I have no idea, but giggle means says. It's, it's, you, you have to see the word like giggle and say, uh -huh. they are the same. But what is the okay. difference that you use giggle when you are nervous? The killer is giggling something. So he's okay. saying something nervously. You see? Yes. Or, or you got it? Yes, I like laughing and a little bit nervous, right? Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the word laugh means reír, but also it means say. But when say. you are saying like, yeah, like la you are laughing, you see? Mm -hmm. Chortle okay. is when, when, when you feel or you show pleasure. Mm -hmm. You know, look at my house. He's not saying, look at my house. It's very big. No, he's not saying. He is chortling. Look at my house. This is great. You see? Mm -hmm. Yes. Chortle. This is chortle. Then we have proclaim. Proclaim is a great word because it's an advanced word. But what is that? It's similar to Spanish, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, mm -hmm. yes. you, for example, uh, the president set uh said the independence mm -hmm. no proclaim the proclaim. independent proclaim. proclaim why because when you proclaim is something official mm -hmm. okay and public yes. and publicly announce when you want everyone yes. uh, knows about you announce anunciar mm -hmm. you say but what you say no you say you something announce. officially officially mm -hmm. for example you can say uh, the president said there aren't any killers on the street. No, the president announced. announced. Because when you announce, you say something publicly and officially in order to make people to know what you're mm -hmm. saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we have declare. Declare is when you announce, okay, something clearly Certainly, publicly or officially. For example, when you are um, a witness, you know, witness, mm -hmm. testigo, you don't say who killed someone. You declare who's, who killed someone. Mm -hmm. the, what is the difference that when you declare is officially, publicly, firmly? You are not, you are not unsure. You are very mm -hmm. sure about what okay. you're saying. Yes, imagine that you are maybe a, a movie star and you you are going to say that you are going to film another movie. You are going to say, no, you, de you are going to declare. Why? Yeah. Because you are assured and you are saying something publicly. You mm -hmm. see, this is declared. Then what happened about sadness? Then we have poet or poet, poet it to show annoyance by pressing the lip. It is like, I'm going to kill you. You see people when mm -hmm. they are very angry, they yes. don't open, they don't open them. Or oh, maybe kids, you know, maybe the mm -hmm. kids, I don't want to go, you know? So mm -hmm. he pouted, he didn't say, he pouted mm -hmm. because you are angry, okay. you don't open your mouth, mm -hmm. you see? Okay. Then we have complain. Complain. Complain, you know, is saying something not good about a product, about something. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. quejarse, mm -hmm. complain, similar to Spanish. Sobbed is like when you, when there is a baby crying, 
and the baby mm -hmm. is saying something. You say, I don't understand when you are crying and saying something at the same time. He is mm -hmm. sobbing. He is sobbing. You like, see? Like, like la chilindrina. Similar, similar to the she uh -huh. sobbed. I want to go there. Like that sob. Uh -huh. Yeah. He said, no, he sobbed in the uh -huh. past. Or he sobs in the present, he says. Cried. You produce tears as this a result of a strong emotion such as happiness or pain. You see? Mm -hmm. He cried. She told me it was over because he is crying. Mm -hmm. This is, what is the difference between sob and cried? Cry is like, when you are crying, but you can speak, okay? Mm -hmm. But sub, you cannot breathe, like Chilindrina, for example, mm -hmm. okay? okay? So when you speak like that, so you are sobbing, you are not crying. Get mm -hmm. it? Yes. Good job. Next, then we have lamented. Lamented is a word that you may know. Mm -hmm. Like in Spanish. Yes, sneered. Sneer is another word to talk about somewhere or something in an unkind way to show no respect. Mm -hmm. She sneered. Sneer. And maybe, for example, and okay, Raul, I'm help. I'm helping you know in order to create the best, uh, the best product. Uh, and you say, uh, is that all? Is that all? Like he said, is that all? El dijo es todo. But in an unkind way, you see? Mm -hmm. Lo digo como que es sarcasmo, lo digo por molestar. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Sneered. Yes. He is sneered. Is that the best you can do? No. He said, is that the best you can do? No. He sneered. Sneered. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Porque lo dijo de mala manera. De mala manera. Mm -hmm. Wine. Wine is to make a long high in a sad sound. My ice cream melted, the boy whined. He said, no, to make a long and high and sad sound. Okay. Uh -huh. be bemoan be moan is, is another one. To complain or express sadness about something. You know, you say, uh, look at the way that I'm speaking. You say, uh, we're, well, guys, you know, uh, our department has to lay some people off. The way that I say because I am sad. When I speak sadly, I bemoan something. I don't say I bemoan. Bemoan. Decir algo triste, okay, uh -huh. is bemoan. He bemoan uh, that he didn't want to be here. He bemoan. No, he said he bemoan. You see? Bemoan. Bemoan. Okay. Mm -hmm. I should never have accepted the offer. He lamented. He lamented. Se lamentaba. Decir algo que no debía haber hecho. He lamented. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened when you speak loud? This is another one. Shout it. Shout it or shout, you know? This is yes. when you speak with a very loud voice. You like you say, hello. You speak with a very loud voice, often as loud as possible. Mm -hmm. Usually when you want to make yourself heard in, in, in noisy situations. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Imagine like uh, when you are at the stadium, encouraging your team mm -hmm. you shout it or you shout we can win we can win you are shouting we can win mm -hmm. you are not saying you are shouting mm -hmm. you're shouting right okay? uh -huh. but exclaim exclaim is like imagine that you are cooking and then, <gasps> what are you doing here i didn't say what are you doing here i exclaim mm -hmm. what are you doing mm -hmm. here why because of surprise, fear, and pleasure. Imagínate que te hagan un regalo. Uh -huh. Abres tu regalo y es un carro. Y tú dices, wow. Raúl said, wow. No. Raúl exclaimed, wow. Because it was a surprise for you. Did you understand? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Then we have below. Below, to shout in a loud voice. Look at this. Imagine that someone is knocking the door, knocking at the door. Okay. Yes. And then who's there? You scream. You 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 don't scream. you say like you below. You didn't say you below. Tú no dices okay. quién está allí. Tú lo que haces es below. Below es alzo mi voz. Who's uh -huh. there? You see. Yes. Got okay. it. Mm -hmm. 
yell. Then we have yell. You say, when you use yell is when you say something, but you are angry. Okay. It's like Let's... shout, right? No, because shout is, uh, shout is like when you are, when you want people uh, to listen or to hear you. Like, for example, at the stadium, you shout, mm -hmm. we can win, okay. we can win, but you use yell when you are angry. Why did you kill the dog? You yell. Mm -hmm. you, tu gritas, okay. pero molesto. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. okay. O de dolor. Okay, say, so get out. But you mm -hmm. yell, sorry, but you, but you shout. Look at shout, I'm sorry. You shout in a very often as loud as possible, usually when you want to make yourself heard in noise situation. Uh -huh. situation. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Then we have a scream to shout in a loud voice. This is similar to blow. Blow. Mm -hmm. Similar. Shout in a loud voice. Similar. Mm -hmm. Help us, they scream. This is another. Holler. Holler is when Holler. you say something. I imagine mm -hmm. that you are playing soccer and you want to say, hey, Pedro, pass me the ball. You don't say pass me the ball, but tampoco gritas. Mm -hmm. No gritas ni dices. Lo que estás haciendo es holler, pass me the ball. ¿Se entiende? Mm -hmm. Porque decir yes. es hablar en este tono, un tono calmado. Es el say. Ahora, uh -huh. ahora, yell es decir algo, pero molesto. Shout es gritar para que me escuchen, pero cuando tú juegas, ¿quieren que te escuchen? Uh -huh. No. No. No, no, no gritas tan fuerte. Solamente uh -huh. quieres que la persona que tiene la plata. Entonces, you holler, pass me the ball, pass me the ball. You holler. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Pass me the ball, he hollered. Now, what happened? Quiet. You have the uh -huh. word murmured. Uh -huh. okay. Like in Spanish. Uh -huh. Uh, exactly, to speak or say something very quietly. Murmurar, murmured. Then we have muttered, muttered. To speak quietly in a low voice that is not easy to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, especially this word, I use this word. I, imagine that you are my teacher and you say, okay, Carlos, this is your score. Carlos, your exam is terrible. You, you need to redo the exam. Oh, Jesus, I hate this person. Uh, what did you say? I muttered. Jesus, I hate mm. this person. Mm -hmm. Because do I want do I want my teacher um, to hear me? No, no. of course. Uh -huh. I, yes, I say something. I muttered. I didn't mm -hmm. say I muttered because I don't want the this person to listen to me. I muttered. Okay. I understand. Uh -huh. and, and then we have the word mumbled. Mumble is like mumbled. when you say uh, the, what? Blah, blah, blah. Ah, I can understand. Mumble. Mm -hmm. Sometimes kids mumbles, you see? Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. child, sometimes he mumbles when he wants to say something, but he can't because he's a baby. Mm -hmm. Mumble to speak quietly in a way that is not clear so that the words are, are, are difficult to understand. It's almost the same like murmured, right? Mm -mm. Because murmured is like murmurar. Te, te escucho mm -hmm. la, la persona que está a tu costado. Murmur. You say, oye, ¿qué tal? Hablas bajito. Murmurar okay. es hablar bajito. hablar bajito. Las demás okay. personas no te entienden. Las demás personas oh, no te okay. entienden porque tú solamente hablas, murmuras con el que está a tu costado. Pero mumble es cuando eh, hablas de esta manera, así que hablas muy, hablas muy rápido, hablas muy bajito que no se te entiende. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. okay. Mumble. And whispered is to speak very quietly so the only person close to you can hear you. Okay, I understand. Uh-huh. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. you very, uh -huh. Like this whisper. Whisper. With okay. AD I Whisper. Okay. Oh, Carlos, Did... can you please wait uh, wait up for me a second? I'm just going to open the door. Okay, go, just go, a second, go. please. Okay, I'm back. Sorry okay. for that. No problem. No, Pete, just 
So do, do you have any questions about these words that we have uh, learned? It's, I need to practice, right? But it's uh, kind of uh, like similar <laughs> words. Yeah, they are very similar, but it depends on the context. Because yes, uh -huh. you, if you look at these words uh, in your dictionary or maybe on Google, for example, if you Google these four words, I mean, the, mm -hmm. you Google these four words, uh, pleaded, back, entreated, implored, implorar, implorar, suplicar, implorar, but they are the same, you say, but because for me they are the same, right? Mm -hmm. Implorar, mm -hmm. suplicar es lo mismo. No. Pleaded es, por ejemplo, cuando tú tienes una emoción, un sentimiento, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Tú dices, no te vayas, ¿por qué? Porque estás bien triste. Mm -hmm. Back, back, un back lo hace, por ejemplo, cuando quieres pedir algo, ¿ok? El niñito no te dice, quiero eso. El niñito te dice, he backed. I wanted that. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Entreated okay. es otra manera. Es la razón por la que te expliqué el contexto. Si googleas, te darás cuenta que pleaded, implored y backed son lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Entreat es lo mismo, pero no te explican el contexto. Entonces, para que no, hay, no metamos la pata cuando hablemos. Eh, por ejemplo, uh, uno de los errores que he visto mucho es el... ¿Dónde está? Es de este matter, matter que, que es, uh -huh. dice acá, hablar muy bajito, que no sea muy fácil de escuchar. Uh -huh. Pero es que tú no quieres que la otra persona se escuche. En cambio, el contexto no es cuando tú dices algo como que, oh, qué cargoso, y no, no te escucha la otra persona, hablas bajito para uh -huh. ti. Eso es matter. Pero, okay. si, pero uh -huh. si tú lees aquí el contexto, es, dice solamente que hables bajito y que no sea fácil de escuchar. No, mm -hmm. el contexto es importante. Entonces, oh, my baby mother, you, say, you know, yesterday I was like in the living room and then my my my, my wife, she was like uh, putting my my little girl off and she muttered, I don't want to live here, you see? Mm -hmm. Ella le estaba resondrando. Okay, she was mm -hmm. telling off my, my, my girl and my, my girl was like, she muttered, I don't want to live here, but she's just five years old, you know? She muttered. Mm -hmm. Ella dijo que se, no quiere vivir aquí, pero solamente tiene cinco años. Lo dijo bajito para ella, pero te escuchaste. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Whispered, whispers like, you know, the killer whispered, he is going to kill us. You see? Mm -hmm. Whisper. That. So it's really important mm -hmm. that sometimes we, we know these words, okay? especially okay. when we read books, when we read novels. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Any questions? So you, you will have the presentation and, okay, and then you just need to practice, of course. No, no yes, uh -huh, of course. Now, then we have a comprehensive grammar quiz, okay? This is okay. a test. So let's start. Okay. The first word is, com what is convicted? Do you know, Raul? Convicted. Uh, convicto. Un, and what un is preso, a convicto? Un, un reo, un preso. Uh, incorrect. When you are convicted means uh -huh. that you were guilty and you were in jail. Therefore, you were in jail. You see? Okay. Uh -huh. Convicted. You were guilty. Therefore, you were in jail. Okay. Okay. So they were convicted. What is the preposition? Oh. Okay. Uh, um, they were convicted. Uh, I don't know. Convicted, no, convicted. on, convicted with, uh, convicted on a crime or in a crime, uh -huh. of a crime, of a crime. The answer of a is crime. They didn't. Uh -huh. Yes. Remember that you commit a crime. You don't do a uh -huh. crime. You don't make a crime. You commit. Uh -huh. Okay. So you okay. can say. Ellos fueron a prisión por un crimen que no cometieron. Uh -huh. Una gran okay. forma de saber, si yo te digo, ¿cómo me dirías? Eh, yo estuve preso por robo. Entonces, lo que normalmente las personas dicen, I was in jail for eh, whatever, cualquier palabra. I was in jail. No, I was convicted. Convicted means that you were in jail. Uh -huh. It means that you were guilty. Okay. Okay. Next. He is accustomed. Accustomed what? 
Right. Okay, like uh, custom, uh, custom two, a custom to, a custom to, to driving. driving snowy weather. Uh huh. Yes. Let's remember a custom to similar to look forward to. Remember, uh -huh. you have look forward, look forward to doing something. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Accustomed to driving in a snowy weather. So I am accustomed to getting up very early every day because I have to work at seven o'clock a.m. You see, I am accustomed mm -hmm. to doing something. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Next, the team is devoted. Devoted to on winning and winning in the on winning. I don't think so. Devoted to, devoted oh, to. to. So, okay. What is devoted? Devoted is like, for example, I am willing. I uh -huh. am willing like, to do. Like you have faith on doing something. What do you mean with faith? Faith? Uh, yeah, like that. Uh huh. Mm -mm. For example, um, uh, imagine that I am a soccer player. Imagine okay. I am a soccer player. And I train, I train, you know, I train at the gym from four o'clock to nine o'clock p.m. every day, from Monday to Friday, four okay. o'clock to night. Because I am devoted. I am devoted. You say, Carlos, do you want to play video game with me tomorrow? No, I have to train. I am devoted. Carlos, do you okay. want to go to the party tomorrow? No, um, I have to train on Saturdays and Sundays. Carlos, do you want to go to the party? Because today you don't train. Yes, I don't train, but I need to rest. I need to rest. Uh -huh. I'm devoted okay. to training. I am devoted to my to my training. I am devoted to my team. I am devoted okay. to winning the championship. championship. Comprometido. Okay. Cuando tú estás comprometido oh, con okay. algo, haces todo para cumplir. Devoted. Mm -hmm. right? okay. Devoted to is a very, very common word in English. Yes. Okay. So you say, well, I am devoted to working in this company. Uh, estoy comprometido al trabajar en esta compañía, you see? Mm -hmm. Oh, I am always devoted to, to helping people. You know, I am always devoted mm -hmm. to helping people. Estoy comprometido a ayudar a las personas. Yes. Uh -huh. Next. What do you think? Many believe the iPhone is superior uh, at all overs. Mm -hmm. Two. Oh, two. To you're superior oh. to all others. So okay. You are superior. You are not superior to me. Okay. So don't look up to, look up to you and look, look, uh, look, look up to, look up to means to admire. Okay. Uh -huh. So you say, because you are superior to me, I look up to you. Look okay. up to you. Okay. And look down on is the opposite. The opposite. Mm -hmm. look down look down on it means that well you're not like me i am superior to you so mm -hmm. you you look down on me that is not okay. good okay i'm gonna tell the teacher tu me menosprecia look yeah, down on you look up to uh -huh. okay. exactly and look up to admire ah oh, you're so cool i look up to you because i want to be like you mm -hmm. superior okay. to superior to you can use Similar to, mm -hmm. for example, iPhone is similar to Android, similar. And then yes. we have different. Different from, okay? Different mm -hmm. from. Different mm -hmm. from, similar to, superior to. Okay. Next. Parents want to keep their children safe. Safe Parents what? To keep their children safe. Uh, safe from from danger. Safe from danger. You want to keep something or someone safe from something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. Good job. Next. I really hope you are engaged. Uh, to these lessons. Engage to these lessons. In, engage in these lessons. In. I really hope you're engaged in this lesson 
what, uh -huh. what do you what do you understand by by saying and engage what pops into your head comprometido yeah but engage significa comprometido de que te vas a casar uh -huh. I mean, we're engaged engage es por ejemplo cuando wait a minute interested when you are interested in the lesson okay okay uh -huh. uh, concentrado Como, I really okay. hope you Enganchado, are concentrado. okay uh -huh. yes when las escuelas dicen nosotros tenemos que tener un buen engagement o las redes sociales uh -huh. what is engagement cuando hacemos que las personas den like okay uh -huh. so okay. you can say enganchado concentrado I really hope you're engaged in engaged in this lesson okay, okay. well okay. In, in this company uh, the main purpose of the product is to uh, uh, engage in something. Grateful. Okay. What is grateful? I am grateful with your offer. With, right? For. Ah, uh, for. Grateful. For your grateful. offer. Yeah, grateful. Uh, Aha. Uh -huh. Similar to thank, thankful. Uh, thankful. I'm thankful for everything. Thankful. Uh -huh. Thankful. Thankful. Okay. thankful. Uh, okay, this is another. Their marriage is devoid. Laughter. Their marriage is devoid. What is devoid? Devoid is, for example, is there is something that is missing. Uh huh. Okay, for example, well, in this house or this house is devoid, the preposition. You say happiness because mm -hmm. I am very sad. For example, mm -hmm. the marriage is devoid of happiness. Why? Because they are very sad. They they always mm -hmm. have problems. In okay. Spanish, in Spanish can be falto de. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Que le falta algo. A su matrimonio le falta risas. Mm -hmm. Their marriage is devoid, devoid uh, of, of laughter. Devoid of, of, devoid of laughter. Devoid le of falta laughter. las risas. Mm -hmm. Next, this is another. Are you concerned? In your health? Concerned about. All concerned about. about your health. What uh -huh. is concern? Concern means like preocupado. Okay. Okay. Questions? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go. She, she is, is very well acquainted. Acquainted. Uh, acquainted was, I don't remember. Acquainted. A acquaintance, conocido. Uh huh. Okay. So, acquainted. To, to the facts of the case? With. with. Acquainted with. What is acquainted? Uh -huh. Focus on this part. Acquaintance. Ah, oh, she's just an acquaintance. An acquaintance means conocido. Es un conocido mío, acquaintance. Pero cuando mm -hmm. estás acquainted, you are informed. You know everything. For example, I know that you killed my, my dog. Mm -hmm. I am acquainted with the fact of the murder, of the crime. Okay. okay. I know what happened here. I am well acquainted. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Bien informado. Mm -hmm. So now let's practice. Let's go to the next level. And now you have to complete with two prepositions. Please okay. read and complete. If you are addicted uh, to our channel, then that means you are pleased in our lessons with... Please with, oh, you are pleased. I'm uh -huh. pleased with something. Estoy encantado con algo. Okay. Addicted okay. to. Uh -huh. Addicted to. Sí. The dog is notorious. Is notorious. What is notorious? Eh, notoriamente? No. Notorious no. is like famous. Notorious. Oh. Similar mm -hmm. to famous. But what is the difference? You can be famous for something good or for something bad. Uh -huh. But when you are notorious for something, it means that you are notorious for something bad, just for something oh. bad. 
Okay. There uh -huh. is a rapper, there is a rapper, Notorious Big. B-I-G, yes, I mean, uh-huh. Yeah, I know him. Notorious, famous, but for something bad. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry, my shoes. Okay, so it would be the dog is notorious in destroying my shoes. Okay, my shoes, and I am fed up. What is fed up? And I'm fed up. Fed up. Uh, como de que estoy cansado. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Fed up with. Remember that notorious uh -huh. for mm -hmm. notorious word. In the U.S., the expression for "I am fed up with" mm -hmm. it is like "I'm sick and tired of." Okay. I'm sick and tired. I'm uh -huh. tired of it. Instead of say, it doesn't mean that you are sick or you are ill. It's just mm -hmm. the expression, harto. Yes. I'm fed up. I estoy harto. I am fed up with you. I'm, I'm sick and tired of you. Okay. Next. The, the store, the store was crowded. Crowded the of. Crowded of, of people. people. Who were eligible. Eligible. Uh, eligible to the grand prize. Eligible of. for. Eligible for. Cuando eres elegible, eres apto para algo. Eligible. Uh -huh. You are eligible for the next interview. You are okay. eligible for working in this company. You okay. are eligible for the task. Okay? okay. Eligible. Okay. Then you 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 know this, I'm pretty sure. You must know it. I'm, I'm capable. incapable. Uh I'm incapable of getting comfortable in DC. Yes. I am incapable of getting comfortable in this seat. Mm -hmm. Next, skin. If, if you're you keen. What is keen? Keen, keen means interested in something. Okay. For example, I like to play soccer. I uh -huh. like to play soccer. I am keen on playing soccer. Uh, okay. So what is okay, the preposition? On, on them. You're keen course. on improving your English with uh, uh, join our community and you'll be amazed. Amazed. Uh, amazed of all the cool stuff we'll send you. Bye. Bye. Um, okay. You are amazed by something. You we imagine that you go to to Walt Disney Park uh -huh. and you say, You're amazed by the number of people who are there you see you are mm -hmm. a mate oh, asombrado mm -hmm. so now we have a test okay you okay. have to use grammar okay so okay. the first one you have to use a model he ought no better what is he two? Else? order two nice he uh -huh. order to know better right uh -huh. order to know better yes the plane is a scheduled time. Uh, the plane. Uh, the plane. I mean, I have to use arrive. No. Yes, we have to use arrive. Okay, the plane. Uh, will arrive at eight. PM? Incorrect. Remember, you can use the present symbol. To talk about the future, you can use a present simple to talk about the future, but okay. when it comes to a scheduled time, when it comes to means cuando se trata de. Okay, so arrives at 8 p.m. Arrives, yes, arrives. Uh -huh. El avión llegará arrives. a las 8. El uh -huh. Arrives, yes, arrives. arrives. Next, I an a specified time. Specified time. Uh, I've been to China twice. I've been to China twice, of course. Mm -hmm. I've been to China twice. Next. Last year at this time, we we planned a trip to Romania. But it says we action at point in time. It says last year at this time. Okay, um, so for example, we yesterday had, we no, had planned, yeah. No, no, yesterday at this time, I was teaching to Gabriella yesterday at this time. Uh -huh. So, remember when you want to talk about an action that happened in the past, 
Oh, we were planning, planning them. Progress. Yes, we were planning we the were trip. Planning. Uh -huh. You see, cuando queremos hablar de una acción que estaba ocurriendo en un momento específico, pasado uh -huh. progresivo. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. Quick or sudden decision? Uh, I get the door. Um, I have. No, mm -hmm. I quick or sudden decision. I, got, I will. No, I will, I will get, get the door. What is the. Es como, imagine, imagine uh -huh. that you are, uh, you are carrying some bags, big uh -huh. bags, uh -huh. and, and you're, you're doing this, oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore. And then, uh -huh. oh, Raul, don't worry, I will help you. Why? Uh -huh. oh, okay. Because it's a uh -huh. sudden decision. When you want uh -huh. to volunteer, cuando te voluntareas hacer algo, yeah, you, you do now. well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. Mm -hmm. Next. Before, Before my, my alarm, alarm went, off, went off, I heard a loud boom. I heard a loud boom. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I was like in a quandary. In a quandary, es como una encrucijada. They mm -hmm. say, my alarm went off. That action happened in the past. ¿Cierto? Yes. Uh -huh. Ahora dice, antes de que mi alarma suena, ¿qué pasó? Antes de que pase esto, ¿ocurrió algo, sí o no? Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué se usa cuando ocurre algo antes que otro en el pasado? El pas. Uh, el pas. Perfect. Right? Perfect. Sería, before my alarm went off, I had heard a loud boom. Antes uh -huh. de que mi alarma sonase, yo había escuchado un fuerte boom. Uh -huh. Yo preferiría usar el pas. Perfect en esta ocasión. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Next. English for four years. And I will continue to do so in the future. Continue in action. An action that is going to continue in the future, probably. Okay. I've, uh, I have been learning English for four years, and I will continue to do so in the future. Amazing. Yes. You have been. Why? Because it's an action that is started in the past, continuing up to now. And probably this action, it, it will continue in the future, Retention. right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And And apart from that, Uh, you have the word for, and remember, when you focus mm -hmm. on duration, you have to use the present perfect progressive. Yes. Good job. Uh -huh. Next, you have evidence. There's only uh, one minute left in the match. Our team, uh, our team uh, will win. Incorrect, but you have evidence. You are okay. sure. Have already win. Are is going to win. Oh, it's going to win. Uh -huh. Yes. Remember that when you have evidence, you say, evidence "Well, I am going to buy that house." Why? Because I have the money. But if yes. you don't have the money, you say, "I will buy that house," because you are not sure. You don't have evidence. Uh -huh. Next, okay. the subjunctive. Do you remember the subjunctive? The doctor Ooh, recommends the that she. Uh, uh, the doctor recommends that she should be getting more rest. No, no, she, she get. Is. We don't use. Oh. We don't use the s. Do you remember the subjunctive? Oh, kind of. Okay, maybe they can we check. Then can we check the subjunctive? Uh -huh. The subjunctive. Okay. Next. Yes. What about to past events? To past events. Okay. By the time I arrived at the restaurant, everyone had or oh, has had already ordered. Had, had what else? Had, 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 had yes. Had, had, had already ordered. You say oh, by the time you just I arrived, oh, everyone had already ordered because you have three verbs had, had already ordered. Había, uh -huh. había, no, just one. Oh, had, okay. Had already oh, ordered. Had, uh -huh. had already ordered then, okay. Now we're going to talk about the articles, okay? Mm -hmm. That's great. You want to learn? Article, I ask, thou nothing. Okay, that's great. You want to learn nothing, English. Yes, remember mm -hmm. that you don't use articles before mm -hmm. languages. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Excuse me, can you tell me where the toilet is? Yes, you use thou or the when you assume there is only one of something. Uh -huh. What is the difference between the and the? When you ah, say okay. the. When, when, the, the. Word, when the word starts with consonant sound, you say the, the toilet. Oh, it's the, but then, when, okay. When the word starts with vowel sound, you say the. For example, oh, the okay. office. Oh, the office, okay. the toilet. Sometimes in American it's English, the, when you are, when you want to emphasize, maybe you are surprised or shook, you say the for every for everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Next, she works as a university professor. A university. Remember that you use a before non-specific nouns mm -hmm. that begin with a consonant sound. One day, yes. I hope to climb. To climb. At nothing. Oh, Remember, nothing. you don't oh, use oh. articles before the names of mountains. Mm, okay. Don't. What is most northern capital city in the world? What is the most yes. northern? Remember that you use the before superlatives. superlatives. Uh -huh. Yes. Would you like to visit Golden Gate Bridge? Da, Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, no, no, yes. you didn't use nothing. No, yes, oh, see. you use that oh. before the names of bridges. Then oh, then okay. we have, there is another bridge in Brooklyn. So, okay. the, the so Brooklyn why, did you, why don't you don't use uh, da for the mountains as well as the bridges? I have no idea, but this is part of the rules because you say, for example, I say, yes, I know the Golden Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge is a proper name, like Raul, like Carlos. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. but the word da is included in the name. It is like, oh, for example, okay. Peru. I never say the Peru. No. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it's not included even when... Peru is a proper name, but we have the USA. But in this case, that is included. Then we have even though in Spanish we used to do it, el Peru. In Spanish, right? we we usually do that. Yes, in uh -huh. Spanish, but in English, it, but not in English. No, in uh -huh. English we never do that. Remember, for bridges, you use there. Okay. The largest lake in North America is Lake Superior. Okay. Uh, the largest lake in North America is um, the Lake Superior. Remember, use oh, no. nothing before the names. It's like similar, like names of mountains. Names and mountains, okay. Lakes and mountains. We never use articles, but we okay. use the articles for superlatives. Now, here is a man standing next to Land. There is a lady da. back on. Okay, the first uh, one. Da. The first one is that. To oh no, a plan. To a plan, and there is a lady back on. On. Uh, da plan. On the plant, of course. Yes. Uh -huh. Remember that when you mention something for the first time, mm -hmm. you don't use that. You use, for example, you say, "I have a car." Did you know that I have a car? No, because this is the first time that I mentioned. So I say I have a card and then I say the card because now you know that I have a car. I can say the mm -hmm. card is blue. Okay. Uh -huh. He is learning how to play. Nothing. Tennis. Nothing. Yes. Uh -huh. Tennis. Apple a day keeps doctor away. Uh, an apple a day keeps uh, nothing, a doctor away. The doctor, remember. Oh, that doctor. Okay. And for a specific noun that start with the vowel sound and that before yes. a specific nouns. You know, the okay. doctors, every doctor in the world. Okay. Mani uh, Pacquiao, who is? A famous boxer is not, not from... Nothing, Malaysia. He's from nothing, Philippines. 
incorrect. The second oh. one, you say the Philippines. Oh, Remember, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> you use that before countries with plural names. Oh, Philippines, that's a good one. Uh -huh. the Netherlands. So you say the Maldives, for example. It, it could be, it could be, yes. Uh -huh. If the word has a plural form, you have to use the. If not, no problem. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Remember that we also use that for instrument. For example, the guitar, the drums, yes. the saxophone. Uh -huh. Now let's continue with the conditional sentences. In our previous lesson, we were practicing, you know? We mm -hmm. studied the conditions. Remember that it has two parts, the condition and the result. We have the if a statement in the condition and the main clause in the result. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are five conditionals. We practice the zero conditional, the first conditional, the second and the third and the mixed conditional. There are five of them. Mm -hmm. We know all of them. So now let's practice a little bit. What happened, for example, if you commit a crime? If you commit a crime, you go to jail. Is this true? Is this probable or is this real? It's real. Is real. So remember mm -hmm. that you use the zero conditional for real situations. Like if you uh -huh. study, you pass. It's obvious. Yes. If you work, yes. you get money. You mm -hmm. never say you will get money incorrect because when you work, you are sure that you are going to get money. So this is the zero conditional. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's in the present, work, right? It's in the present, present, and present. Mm -hmm. Okay, this perfect. is a zero conditional. Then we have the first conditional when we want to talk about a probable situation. I will fail. I will fail. Mm -hmm. If I don't study for the test. If I don't study for the test. Uh -huh. Yes. Fallarás el examen si no estudias para el examen. Correct. Then we have the second conditional. In the second conditional, you have a real situation in the present and then we change into the past. For example, I don't, I don't have five dollars and real uh -huh. situation or hypothetical situation. If I had. If I had. Uh -huh. If I had, I would buy you a coffee. Okay. We would uh -huh. have hit the button like if you had asked us. Remember the third conditional is a real situation in the past. Mm -hmm. And then you can create you, a hypothetical. Can you, can you go one slide? A one, go, one? Go, go back. No, 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 that one. We would have hit the like button. Okay. We would have the like hit. button is when you press the button like yes, on social uh -huh. media. Yes, yes, yes uh -huh, I know. Okay. We would have hit. Uh -huh. And then we have mixed conditionals. And then the mixed conditionals can be like situation in the present with a result in the past and situation in the past with the result in the present. For example, mm -hmm. I studied I studied chemistry uh, and now I'm working as a teacher. I studied chemistry and I'm working as a teacher. If I, if I hadn't studied chemistry in the present, I wouldn't be teaching. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be Sorry. teaching. Situation in the past with a present result, hypothetical uh -huh. result in the present. For example, if I had learned English in the past, mm -hmm. I would be learning another language because I'm learning English. You know? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, in the that present, I, I don't study. In the past, if I study it, uh -huh. um, what else? Um, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have work for you because mm -hmm. I don't study. But uh -huh. if I study it now, I wouldn't I wouldn't have help you. No te habría ayudado. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you say because because I hadn't studied in the past. Now I can help you. Or I could okay. help. So here in this example could be uh, the other one. The, uh -huh. If I hadn't eaten breakfast, I wouldn't be so hungry right now. Uh -huh. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. It means that you didn't. It means that you didn't. You didn't have had breakfast. breakfast. Uh -huh. Have breakfast. So yes. now, now you are hungry. You are hungry. In English, uh -huh. 
In English, we have the word angry, right? Angry. Oh, you, you said that it was uh, when you were angry because of when you were hungry, right? Yes, there is a word hungry. Uh -huh. Yes, hungry. Hungry is a mix. Uh huh. Now, what is the answer? If I. If I uh, knew it was going to rain. If oh, uh, no, they have, you have the options right there, okay? You don't know that. Uh, if I uh, had known, had known it was going to rain, I would have brought. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, if you had yes. known. Perfect. Next. Uh -huh. Um, I. Take it to dinner if you tell me more. Okay, I will take you to dinner if you help me to move. I would take you to dinner if you help me to move. I will take you to dinner oh, if take you help. You. Yes, mm -hmm. remember, Perfect. I will take you to dinner. Next, if if I if I uh where are you? I will join our email list. If I were yes. you, uh, mm -hmm. remember that, of course, you can say, if I was you, no problem. When you speak, mm -hmm. you can use both. But remember that grammatically correct, we have where. When you write, you always, when you write, you always write where. But when you speak, you can choose was a word. But remember okay. that word is grammatically correct. Mm -hmm. I did, so now we're going to do the uh, the same process, but in okay. different order. I take okay. the bus, so I didn't arrive on time. Please make a sentence with a conditional. I didn't take the bus. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't take the bus, so I didn't arrive on time. Okay. If I, no. Um, I wouldn't have arrived. No, I would. No, what is the problem? Okay, before you start, oh, what is the uh -huh. problem here that you didn't take the bus, right? Yes. Yes. So what is the hypothetical situation? You didn't take the bus. What is the hypothetical situation? Okay. If you, or if, if I, I, if I have, if I had, remember that when you have in the present, you use the past. Mm -hmm. And when you have the past, you use the past perfect. Yes. Okay. So if I had taken the bus, no. If I had taken, it's perfect. If I had okay. taken the bus. So now the result, look at the result. I didn't arrive on time. The result is in the present or in the past. It's in the past. So in the past, you use would plus the verb or would have plus the verb. I would have plus the verb. Yeah, so you say, if I hadn't, sorry, if I had taken the bus, I would have. I would have arrived. On time. Yes, on of time. course. Uh -huh. Yes. But this okay. is what you have to do. This is what you have mm -hmm. to do. Next, I don't live in New York City because I didn't get the job. Okay. Uh, if I would have gotten the job, I would be living in New York City. Okay, can you repeat your answer? If I... If I uh, would have gotten the job? Nope, incorrect. No. Look at this again. What is the situation? I don't live in New York because I didn't get the job. What is the situation? Oh, that you don't live in New York. Incorrect, that you didn't oh. get the job. Oh, okay. okay. And as a result, as a result of that, you don't live in New you York. You don't live in New York. So okay. I didn't get the job is in the past. In so the past. if I had got the job or gotten the job, uh, so mm -hmm. now in the present, ah, don't leave. The result is in the present or in the past? The result the is present. in the present. So you use mm -hmm. would and the verb or would have? Ah, would, would and, and the verb. verb. Would uh -huh. and the verb. So if I, I would... had... Continue. Okay. Uh, if I had gotten the job, I would be living in New York? Or I would live in New York. Oh, I would live in New York, okay. Uh -huh. I would live in New York. In New York City. Oh, estaría okay. viviendo, lo cual también está correcto. Uh -huh. okay? okay, sí, puedes usar cualquiera. 
Next, I am shy. I didn't go over and talk to her. Okay. If I... Uh, okay, the problem here is that I am shy. And as a result, I didn't go on, oh, go on over, go over and talk to her. So if I weren't shy, mm -hmm. I would have uh, gone over and talked to her. Amazing. If I weren't or if I wasn't so shy, I would have gone over and talked to her. That was a good one. That was a okay. good one. Uh -huh. So now adverbs, adverbs of frequency. frequency. Uh, sometimes I realize that when you speak, you don't use uh, as many adverbs of frequencies as as you as uh, as you know. You know, for example, you say, "Well, I play soccer from Monday to Friday," but you can say, "Well, I hardly ever play soccer," or "I rarely I play soccer from time to time." You know, you you mm -hmm. need to include okay. more adverbs in your speech. Oh, because okay. this is the okay. way that they do. They say, for example, I like pizza. They say, well, I, and, and then include adverbs. Uh, I will explain in a few seconds. So okay. do you remember some of them? We have always, usually, sometimes, okay. rarely, rarely, and never. never. They're okay. the most common ones. Remember that there are more, you know, seldom, oh. hardly ever, uh, often, etc. Mm -hmm. Now you, we like to eat sushi. Tell me an expression similar to sometimes that we uh -huh. use in English. Okay. Uh, we like to eat sushi. Mm, similar to often? sometimes. Often. But remember that if you use often, you say we often like to eat sushi. We never okay. say we like to eat sushi often. Often. No. Uh-huh. Yes. Impossible. Okay. What is the answer? Every. Every now and then. Uh -huh. Every now and then is similar to sometimes. And also is similar to from time to time. Mm -hmm. Remember, okay. these adverbs goes at the end of the mm -hmm. sentence. Every now and then, you know, from time to time. Okay. They, are in, they are more common than sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you learn this word sometimes at a school. Or sorry, in the school. You learn those words in the school, but in real life, they say, well, I play soccer every now and then, you know, instead of saying, uh -huh. I sometimes play soccer. They are uh -huh. more common. Yes. Next, there is an idiom. There is an idiom. We eat seafood rarely. Um, we eat seafood rarely. Uh, not always. Or once in a blue moon. Once uh, in a blue moon, yes. Oh, it's like an expression, right? Uh -huh. Yes, it's the expression. I'm not pretty sure, to be honest, but I think that it was because there is a month, I mean, in February, mm -hmm. in February, and, and this month, uh, there is full moon twice. Okay. And this is very, very uh, weird, and, and this happens rarely. Okay. Correct. Uh -huh. This rarely happens. Remember. Remember, you never say this happens rarely. Incorrect. This rarely happens. Let me show you. Uh -huh. Let me show you. Remember that you use the adverbs before the verb be. For example, I am always happy. So no, it's not before. You go after. After. And then you have the adverb and another verb. And then you say, ah, I play, I always play soccer. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we have the adverb after the verb be. But in this yes, case, yeah. we have before another verb. Okay. okay. This happened for most of the adverbs. We have often, rarely, another one, never, always, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of them. But there is something that is re pretty, pretty common in English. In English, there are two adverbs. They are special. Look at this. We have sometimes, uh -huh. usually. You know that you say, I sometimes play soccer. This is correct, right? Mm -hmm. Or I but, play soccer sometimes. Could be. 
Tell me. Could be uh, I play soccer sometimes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I play soccer sometimes. Sometimes. You see? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you yes. can also say sometime I play soccer. Mm -hmm. Remember, yes. when you have sometimes and when you have usually, you can mm -hmm. use these adverbs in the middle, at the beginning, or in, at, or at the end. end. Uh -huh. Very special verbs. The adverb, sorry. Yes. And remember this one, okay? This is very useful. Next. So then we have adverbs of degree. Degree, for example, um, remember that we have highly. Highly what? Highly rico. Recommend. Recommended. Highly recommended. Oh, recommended. Highly in. Important. Important. So you need to memorize. There uh -huh. is in another way. You need to memorize because they are pretty, pretty and well known. So we have, for example, then we will learn more. Is it hot? A question asked uh, humorously during a very hot weather. Okay. Uh, enough. Enough. Uh -huh. enough. For example, you have, you say, I have enough money. Enough, mm -hmm. this is a noun. Enough money. This is mm -hmm. a noun. Don't forget. And then yes, you okay. say the food is enough, enough. salty. Mm -hmm. Salty is an adjective. Yes. Mm -hmm. Adjective. When adjective. you have adjective, this goes after and this goes here. Is that okay? okay. Is yes. enough salty mm -hmm. correct? Because you say salty. Enough. Enough. Uh -huh. So the enough. So the order is different. When you have a noun, enough noun, but when you have an adjective, this goes at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got it? La comida yes. está lo suficientemente salada. Uh -huh. Yo tengo suficiente dinero. Okay. Uh -huh. Now complete the collocation. So there are three words that you that you will know now, fully aware, completamente consciente, uh -huh. fully aware deeply of something, uh -huh. deeply sorry, profundamente, te lo lamentas, y uh -huh. utterly, utterly in saying es como extremely, extremadamente loco, pero siempre van uh -huh. juntos estos tres. Ok. Sí, son como hermanos. Fully aware, deeply sorry. Fully aware, so, for example, if your company make a mistake, you say, well, we are deeply sorry for mm -hmm. the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, my boss is fully aware of the problems I, I can create. You know, mm -hmm. he is yes. utterly insane. Está completamente loco. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. then we have adverbs of manner. I think I you speak think. English very, very what? Very well. Very or very good. What do you think? Very well, I think. Very well, because remember, adverbs modify verbs, mm -hmm. and adjective modifies nouns. Mm -hmm. I want you to be careful when you take the test. Sentence transformation. Otra manera de expresar lo que a lo que está arriba, pero con un adverbio. Uh, I want you to be careful when you take the test. I want you to be careful. I want you to be. Um, what could it be? Uh, when you take the test, mm, no, no, I don't know what what to say. I I want you to be careful when you take the test. No, for example, look at this. I am a run, a run, a sprinter. I am a run sprinter because, because I can run. I, I am sorry. I am a quick. I am a quick sprinter because I can run quickly. You see, in this case, we have quick adjective, and this is an adverb. Okay. Uh -huh. I want you to be careful when you take the test. So what does it mean? 
I want you to take the test carefully. Perfect. I want you to take the text carefully. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Uh -huh. Are you working? There is an expression in English when you want to keep your pals. Your pals or your pals is your friends. Okay. Your pal. Ah, oh, he's my pal. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you working? Are you working? Mm. Are you working hard or hard hardly or working? Hardly work. Are you working hard or hardly working? Uh -huh. Do you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Adverbs of time. Look at this. In Spanish, well, I heard people making this mistake. They say the package arrived how many On days time? ago? No, oh, no. Okay. How, many, how many days ago? Uh, three days ago. Three days ago, yes, this is uh -huh. perfect. But people say the package arrived two days ago. No, no, you have to three. count. Uh -huh. You have to yes. count. Yeah, this is because this is what Americans uh, do. Okay, imagine that you work uh -huh. in a post office, you count the first day that the package uh -huh. arrived. But here yes. in Peru, for example, oh, I was two days ago, just two days ago, because they don't count this day. No. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. this is a, a culture difference between native speakers and mm -hmm. people like me. Then we have tag questions. Tag questions, you know tag questions, but sometimes you don't use tag questions. And tag questions are now nowadays, uh, people replace those questions with the word right. Right. Uh -huh. But in Canada, people replace tag questions with the word yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. In Canada, yeah. In the US, right. For example, so it's like in Peru, because in uh, Peru we say we always say yeah. Nope, uh, because for example, they say, "Did you understand?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in Spanish, oh. we we don't say that. In, in in Canada, for example, they say yeah for everything. They say, oh, okay. uh, "Did you understand?" Yeah, uh, because I want to go to the store. Yeah, you you use the word yeah all oh, the time. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. I I have a lesson about the yeah. But they, they, they use it. It's like for Canadians, Okanaks. Okay. Uh -huh. And the positive statements are followed by the negative. He finished, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Negative, affirmative. He didn't, did he? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. But after let's, the text begin with shall. Let's it, shall we? Okay. Uh -huh. And use are and tie in tax to mean I'm not. For example, I'm the favorite to win are and tie. Uh -huh. But 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 remember that you sometimes people say am I not? Okay. If I were Why you, not? if I well to be honest, when I talk to native speakers and they wanna make sure that they mention something and they say yeah, this part, they use are and tie or am I not? This is like. 60% and this is like 14%. 60 and 40. Okay. Even, this, even when this is correct, they say, am I not? Mm, okay. okay. So you don't expect, you don't expect to hear aren't I because it's difficult, you know? I am the favorite mm -hmm. to win tie, but I'm the favorite to win. Am I not? Am I not? Mm -hmm. Like easier to pronounce. So they use it more mm -hmm. frequently. Lee, frequently. Yeah. And use one for polite requests. You will help me, won't you? Like will, mm -hmm. will, won't. One will. And use will or would with imperatives. With imperative. Mm -hmm. Please write to us in the comments, would you? Or will mm -hmm. you? Okay. Next, more tips and tricks. Use did then in a question tag when the verb is used to. Uh -huh. Used to watch our lessons, didn't you? Uh -huh. Two endings possible when uh, is the main verb. She has friends, doesn't she? Uh -huh. She has friends, doesn't she? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh.
Mind spoken English. Mind spoken English. Okay. She has got the car. He has got the car. He has a car. She has a car. Okay. okay. Focus on this part. In the UK and in the US, when you want to talk about possession, you use a has got or have got. I've got a car or she has got a car, he has got a car, just an affirmative structure. Okay. Negative, no, negative, no. Okay, we, we, we don't use it. We use just an affirmative possession. And why not? They, they use this unconsciously. But there is a reason, okay. for example, in, well, if imagine that you are an intermediate student level, you know, a B1 level, and you say, mm -hmm. do you have friends? This is a common, tienes amigos, do you have friends? But a uh -huh. native speaker would say, do you have any, any friends? Uh -huh. What is the difference that this is, this is said by a native? Why? They don't know the reason. They do it unconsciously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because these uh, quantifiers for them are pretty common, but for us, it's not common. So... Mm -hmm. Try using any. So when you want to talk about possession, this is okay, this is okay, and this is okay. But they do this unconsciously. They prefer to use has got instead of have or just have. I don't know the reason because they do this unconsciously. This is a grammatical process that they have in their mind. And there is no okay. reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the reason that we have here. She has friends. And then we have doesn't she or hasn't she. Because this come from has got. Has got. Uh -huh. and, and the negative hasn't. Okay. If you if you if I were you, I would use doesn't she. Doesn't she for me is more common. Mm -hmm. Even when you have has got. For example, um I have got a car, or or you have a car, and then you say, Don't you? I don't say mm -hmm. haven't you. I prefer to use mm -hmm. haven't you for present perfect sentences. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, next. So it doesn't, doesn't she okay. mm -hmm. Use it in tag question that include this or that. This is it, isn't it? Isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, or you can always, you say, in it. In it is the yes. informal version of isn't it? In it? Mm -hmm. Use they in questions that includes these or those. These are your shoes, aren't are I? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're done, I think. Let's practice. He is always studying. What is the tag question? Uh, he is always studying. Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Give me a hand. Uh, give me a hand. Uh, um, that's a good one. Give me a hand. Uh, give me a hand. It's imperative. Do you remember? Okay. So will you or will you. will you or would? Would you? Uh -huh. To be honest, in real life, we always use will. Okay. Will you? Part of this bitch. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, give me a hand. Will you? We mm -hmm. always use will because it's more common, but we can also use would. But it depends on you. As I said before, English is not like a science. It's, like, it's not like math because math, mm -hmm. you need to be very precise and exact. But in the yes. language, you can change the words. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can change the words. I okay. told you what happened. I told you what happened. Uh, didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? This is in the last question. Isn't it? Isn't it? Or is it? Uh, is it? Because oh, it's negative is it? present. Is uh, it? Uh -huh. Yes. Is it? They used to live in San Francisco. Uh, they used to. Uh, don't they? Incorrect. This sentence is in the past or in the present or in the future. It's, uh, it's past. It's past. So in, in negative, didn't. Oh, didn't, didn't they? they? Of course, didn't they? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so we're going to we're going to stop here. Oh, wait a minute. This is a different class. This otra clase que no he terminado. Finish? Questions about this? Uh no. It's okay. No, you right. Have I have another please. lesson. You have to check that class. I, I will send the documents. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. The the PDF. Yes. No mm -hmm. Okay. So then we have a business class now. Oh, uh, the business class is just a little bit more difficult, but they are very uh, handy words that you have to know or you must know. In okay. your chat, I mean, in your WhatsApp, you can find a PDF. There is a PDF okay. with the words. Check it out later or check it out now. Mm -hmm. and then we can continue so let's start with this one you wanna what about what about speaking we can start with speaking first Vamos a hablar un okay. poquito. Dun, 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 dun. yes um ahora okay si hay alguna okay. palabra que no conozcas en la imagen como no sé carlos cómo se diría esta palabra me puedes in, interrumpes en ese mm -hmm. momento okay, okay. ¿Cómo se dice, no sé, diente de león? ¿Cómo se dice la pelusa del diente de león? ¿Cómo se dice el filo? Okay. ¿Me preguntas? Y yo te puedo mm -hmm. ir eh, apoyando ya que tenemos la imagen. Okay. Uh, now I think that... Can you, see the, can you see the presentation? ¿Se ve la PPT? Yes. Or not? ¿Sí se ve? Yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Let's continue. Let's continue. So it says, okay, Raul, what, what can you see here in the picture? Oh, uh, well, I can see a small girl in, a, in the woods. She's, the woods. Uh, yes, she's, um, she has grabbed a flower and she's blowing, blowing up. Mm hmm uh so the small pieces of the flowers are are um going away okay she seems to be um very entertaining and uh i think her mother took the picture mm -hmm. and i think um and the uh, and she's wearing a nice, um, how do you say this? Um, pañoleta, it was bandana, right? It's like a bandana, but the bandana uses the head, right? Yes. What do you mean with pañoleta? This is green that we have? Yes. Okay, this is a shawl. Oh, oh shawl, okay. Uh, let me write it here. Uh-huh. This is a shawl, a green shawl. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. okay, cool. Cool. I like it. Feedback for uh, this is the first, uh -huh. this is the first description because then we can come back. Then we come back and you will re uh, describe the picture. Okay? okay. So now when you say blow up, the first thing that pops into my head is a boom, blow up. Blow is soplar, but blow mm -hmm. up. Explotar, estallar, inflar. Oh, for example, okay. blow up a balloon, for example, blow up. Uh -huh. Or okay. you blow up the firecrackers. The firecrackers, petardos, petecillos, mm -hmm. firecrackers. Mm -hmm. You blow up, but you blow a balloon, for example. Okay. okay? Uh -huh. And everything was perfect. Maybe I like this word, the woods. The woods is like a general word, el bosque, the mm -hmm. woods. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So what she's blowing is a dandelion. She's blowing mm -hmm. a dandelion. A mm -hmm. dandelion means diente de león. Dandelion. Okay. Oh, okay. Dandelion. Yes. Let's uh -huh. continue. I have some questions for you. Do dandelions grow near your home? Uh, yes. Yes, they, yes. They, grow, uh -huh. they grow near your home, okay? Are there any beliefs about what happens when you blow a dandelion in your country? Any mm -hmm. beliefs? 
No, I think not. No. For example, here where you live, when you blow a dandelion, you can make a wish. You can make oh. a wish. If you blow, you can make a wish. But in your okay. country, no beliefs. There are no beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, for example, when are some moments you should make a wish in your culture? Blow when you blow the candles on a birthday cake, you you make a wish. Yes. Do you example, know another another moment or situation? Uh yes. When you first uh go to the cathedral, 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 cathedral. Yes, when you go uh, to the cathedral, cathedral in a in a in a city that you first. Uh, visit. Visit, yes. Uh -huh. ah, when you go to a cathedral that you visit for the first time. For the first time, uh-huh. Okay, a cathedral. Ah, okay, you make a wish. What about shooting a, a stars? What about shooting a stars? Oh, uh, yes, well, yes. Yes, uh -huh. when you That's when correct. you when you see a shooting a star, you can make a wish. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Next question. It says, Are you allergic to pollen? Uh no, I'm not. Uh, are, are you allergic to something? Maybe antibiotics or maybe cream, uh, maybe peanut? No, no, no right? I'm not allergic to anything. Okay. No. Uh, uh, what is your favorite flower? Do you have a favorite flower? Um, Actually, I don't, but maybe the roses. Roses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could be. Could be. Okay. Nice. So now let's practice on words. We have a braided herd. What is a braided herd? Uh, in English, this is a braid. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. What is a braid? I don't know in Spanish, but for me, this is a braid. For example, uh -huh. she may have two braids, right? Uh huh. And because she has braids, she has a braided hair. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Las trenzas. Uh -huh. Yes, una trenza es un braid. Mm -hmm. Entonces, mm -hmm. cabeza trenzada sería braided hair. Braided hair. Okay, uh -huh. yes, braided hair. So then we have long sleeps, you know, the sleeps. This is short sleep. My shirt uh -huh. slops, yes, lo short, sleeps. short sleeps, long uh -huh. sleeps. Seat, you know the seat? Be yes. When you, yes, when you yes. want to grow, uh, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now focus on this part. The blade, this is the blade. When you have a knife, when you uh -huh. have a knife, there is a blade. A blade, so yes. The grass, you have the blade of grass. Uh-huh. Uh, this is a blade of grass. Yeah. You uh -huh. see? Uh -huh. This yes. is a uh -huh. blade of grass. Okay, one second. What is a blade of grass? It's la, la, la hoja de... Oh, hoja del pasto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O puede ser el, en, un, en un cuchillo, puede ser el, el filo. El, el filo, blade. la hoja, claro. Uh -huh. yes. La hoja del cuchillo, the blade. But mm -hmm. para el pasto contamos con the blade of grass. Here, for example, there are a lot of blades of grass, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Que vendría a ser la hojita. Cada hojita es un blade. Yes. Uh -huh. Next, springtime is another word for the ver for the for the noun spring. Mm -hmm. Do you remember yes. that, for example, we have autumn and then we have fall, autumn and fall, otoño. Autumn, fall, summer. Uh -huh. yes. yes. We have a spring and springtime. Springtime. Mm -hmm. And this is a parachute. A parachute. Yes. Parachute. parachute. Then we have the updraft, the updraft. For example, maybe when you watch movies, uh, there is like a, 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 a una corriente de aire, que es así. Mm -hmm. Eso se llama yes. updraft. updraft. Updraft, esa corriente de aire. So sometimes you see, you see leaves, because leaf, hoja, leaves mm -hmm. in the updraft. The updraft. Van volando. Uh -huh. okay? okay, the updraft is la corriente de aire. The updraft, mm -hmm. the meadow, we say meadow. Meadow, meadow is un pradero, un prado. Mm -hmm. You say woods, I like the word woods too, because mm -hmm. I use it like a lot. And mm -hmm. this is the photo description, okay? So now before we okay. continue, so now I am going to ask some questions. What is she blowing? Uh, she's blowing the dan uh, dandelions. A dandelion, she's blowing a dandelion where? Where in the jungle, in the woods, where? In the woods. Uh -huh. In the mid, in the meadow, in, in the, the meadow. meadows. In, in the, the meadow. meadow, in un pradero, uh -huh. in un pradero, in the meadow. And and what can you see in the foreground? In the foreground. In the foreground, I can see the 
uh, blades, a lot blades. of blades. Of, blades, uh, a grass. lot of blades of grass, a lot of uh -huh, blades, of, blades grass. of grass, uh -huh. a lot of blades of grass, and she is, she is, blow, she is blowing the dandelion. Blowing dandelion. And, and what is, what is, what is going on here? There are a lot of seeds. Seeds could be seeds, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And what about her style? She's wearing a uh, long leaves. Shirt. Long sleeves, long sleeve. Remember that it's sleeve yeah. manga. Oh, okay, a long uh -huh. sleeve t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, and she has. And she has uh, uh, hair, uh, uh, what was the name? I don't remember. Braid, braid is una trenza. Braid is dos trenzas. Braid is, braid is hair, hair, right? Yes, braided hair. Braid, braided. Con sin la D. Es braided, un braid. Uh -huh. Es una trenza. Braided her. Okay. She okay. had braided her. Uh -huh. so this is my description here. Please read the, the description. Okay. It's springtime. And in this picture, we can see a little girl sitting in a meadow, meadow a wild field of grass. She's on her knees. And the bottom of uh, the bottom and the bottom half of her of her is covered by tall blades of grass, which are reaching up towards the sky. She's holding two dandelions in her right hand. Now dandelion flowers are yellow, but after they have been pollinated, they change into this white puffed ball stage that we all know and love. Okay, stop the here. Is... Stop here. Yes. I'm sorry. So do you have any questions up to this point here? No. In, in the first paragraph. Remember, ador, a cuando tú vas a la iglesia, when you go to the church, Hey, to best people que se arrodilla, you say, well, they are on their knees. On their knees, yes. On uh -huh. their knees, yes, of course. Okay, let's continue, please. Paragraph okay. two. The girl is blowing the dandelions, and we can see these little white pieces floating on the wind. Each one of these uh, little parachutes is carrying a seed. Now most seeds only travel a distance of about 10 meters, but depending on the conditions, they can go further than you think. Thermal updraft can carry them up and away, far, far away. Yes. So, uh -huh. so, so let's what... analyze this part. So the okay. thermal updraft, the thermal updraft son estas corrientes de viento que salen así como que se van... Mm -hmm. Esos esos son los thermal updrafts que pueden formar mm -hmm. remolinos. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So then we have floating on the wind. Remember that you say en el viento, on the wind, pero mm -hmm. en el aire es in the air. In the air. Es lo uh -huh. mismo. Sí. Pero cambia la preposición. They are floating on the wind or they are floating in the air. In the air. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now okay. this is really important. Let's continue. Okay, so what do people in your culture believe happens when you blow a dandelion? Should you make a wish before blowing that white puffball? Some believe that if you can get all the seeds of the puffball in your first breath, that means that someone loves you. Others believe that you should count the pieces that don't fly away. Those are the number of years you have left before you die. This girl is wearing a dark green shirt with long sleeves and has hair, hair braided. She, uh, the background is out of focus and we'll just have to imagine if she's making a wish or if she's counting how many years she has left before she meets the Green ra Reaper. Yes, the green What is the Green Reaper? La Parca. The Green Reaper uh -huh. is like man... Yes, uh -huh. of course. So I noticed that, for example, it, it sometimes it's really difficult when we say, and has her hurt braided, right? Has uh -huh. her hurt. But what is the problem here? The native speakers, they say, has her hurt braided. Has her. Because remember, has when you have hair, when you have his, when you have him, when you have them, you don't pronounce her. the first parts. You say, has her yes. hurt braided. Uh -huh. Okay. So do, you don't have any questions about this word? Uh, yeah. white pop up. No, uh, I think I'm okay. Pop, 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 p
Yeah. That's the only yeah. word is it was the Green Reaper. <laughs> ah, the Green Reaper, you know yeah. that podcast. Uh -huh. This is like a man with this. Yeah. He's going uh -huh. to kill you. Yeah, uh -huh. the Green Reaper for Halloween. Yes. And now uh -huh. look at this. This is a beekeeper. Be uh -huh. a beekeeper. Be so, so what what can you see here? I know that this image is really difficult. This is just for advanced students because uh -huh. there are many words that probably you don't know. But now yes. I, I want to check that. I want to check that. For example, what is he doing? Okay. Uh, the the man I I can see a man wearing a uh, a special custom to take the honey from the bees. Okay. And uh -huh. he's he's wearing a white costume. Okay. And uh. In a type of helmet, which, mm -hmm. which in which, uh, in this what well, which, which the bees can get in. Mm -hmm. Which the bees can get in. He's he's grabbing the uh he's grabbing a panel, uh, on with both hands, and I can see a lot of bees, um, that are working on the honey or something <laughs> okay yes nice interesting i like the expressions that you use uh, they are advanced too they are advanced too but maybe you are like confusing the words yeah. focus on this part and let's start with the imagine this is a tree right this is a tree uh, let me draw something here and there is something like this where the bees live you know yeah uh -huh. how do we call this in spanish do you remember uh banal? Ba? Yeah, banal? this is a beehive. This is a beehive. Oh, beehive. Okay. Yeah, this is the beehive. And and uh, oh, I'm sorry, I have some pictures here. I think. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, the bee colony. When you have a bee colony, when you have a queen, if you have a yes. queen, mm -hmm. a bee queen, you have a bee colony. He is a beekeeper. He's a person that works with honey and with bees. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. DNA, we know everyone has DNA and, and their blood, of course. The yes. frame and a frame. When you take a picture and when you wanna and you when you put the picture on, on something like, like a square, this is a frame. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is a frame, of course. Mm -hmm. And what else? Then we have the full body be suit. Suit traje, full body de todo el cuerpo, uh -huh. be para abejas. Okay. You got a full body be suit. Feel mm -hmm. full body be suit. Then, then, then we have the gloves, the gloves that you cover your hands, yes. the gloves, mm -hmm. the protected veil, veil when you get married, oh, oh, or maybe you are the wife, of course, I don't know, uh, uh -huh. the priest, when you go to the church, you have the veil, the veil, yes. veil. Uh -huh. okay, and the uh, protective veil, el velo protect, protector, mm -hmm. when you say mm -hmm. helmet, helmet, literally, it, it is casco, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it depends, of course. If you think that this is a casco, it's okay. You can say, mm -hmm. oh, please put on the, the helmet or mm -hmm. protective veil, which is the appropriate uh, name for that. Oh. that okay. uh -huh. Then we have a threat. You remember, pose a threat, yes. pose uh -huh. a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Create havoc. We say havoc. Uh, mm. Havoc means like disturbios. Mm -hmm. Create havoc is like uh, interrupciones, problemas, caos, destrucción. Create mm -hmm. havoc. Harvest money. You use the word to remove the honey from the bees or from. something like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Well, in this case, in this case, you say harvest. Harvest means cosechar. Cosechar. You harvest. Uh -huh. Yes. Harvest is cosechar. Pero cuando utilizamos el harvest con el honey, es que vas a recolectar la miel. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. A stink is like the bee stung me. A sting, a stung, a stung. A sting, mm -hmm. picar. Yes. Okay. And the bee has the stinger. The stinger is el aguijón. I have el a aguijón. Thing. Yes. Let, uh -huh. Let's analyze the word. This is the beehive. You know the beehive? Uh huh. Beehive. Okay. This is the protective veil. Uh huh. Okay. The protective veil. Sometimes when you want to work as a beekeeper, you have to buy your own protective veil. Mm -hmm. Then we have this is the prismatic wax cell. 
Okay, prismatic every uh, this is this is one one prismatic wax wax cell. This is one, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of prismatic wax cells. You see? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, Oh, we can hear you. Sorry. Then we have a honey, a honeycomb. Okay. Don't confuse because the bee. Uh, imagine that you have a tree. This is uh -huh. a beehive, beehive. But this is the beehive. honeycomb. This is the honeycomb. When you want to have a honeycomb, you you need you need a frame. You a need frame, a frame. Yes. And there are a lot of prismatic wax oh, cells. Wax cells. Uh -huh. Yes. So, so what was the name again? The, the name of the of the of the the one that it, it was inside of the which uh, be beehive and the other name was honeycomb. Honeycomb. Okay. Yes. Let me write it here. It sounds like this. Uh -huh. Honeycomb. This. Honeycomb. This. Honeycomb. Okay. And yo para mí colmena y panal eran lo mismo. Uh-huh. Pero this is, esta es una colmena. Colmena. Okay. Panal. Panal. Panal, uh -huh. el que cuelga del árbol. Uh -huh. Pero colmena es el que trabajan allí en el frame. Este es un frame, su marquito. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Luego ayer también aprendí la palabra sarpullido. Existe la palabra sarpullido, no es salpullido. Y sarpullido en inglés se dice rush. rush Me acordé yes. ahorita, uh -huh. because when the bee... Maybe you are allergic to pollen or allergic to bees. Mm -hmm. They sting you. You can have a rush. You have a, a rush. rush. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You have a rush. And then we have urticaria. Ya que se me viene a la mente. Urticaria, que es when you yes. eat something that you are allergic to. You have uh -huh. a skin rush. Skin Sorry, rush. skin rush. Skin rush. Rush. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the word harvest. When you harvest something, cosecha. ¿Qué es cosechar? Mm -hmm. Culti. Cultivar. Mm -hmm. Cultivar. Pero cuando utilizamos harvest honey, es que voy a retirar. Recolectar, Recolectar la, 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 la miel. miel. El uh -huh. syrup. Therapy. Syrup. Yes. Stinger. Uh, look at the bee. We have the stinger. Yes. Uh -huh. This is the stinger. Okay. Havoc, the havoc, you know, chaos, lios, confusion. Then we have a stink. When you stink somebody, picar algo a alguien. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. Then we have the photo description, but I want to ask some questions. Okay. So do you know anyone who is a beekeeper or keeps bees as a hobby? Do you know someone? No, I don't. No. No, you, you don't, right? Have you ever been stung by a bee? Yes, I have. Twice. <laughs> Twice. And, and Okay, what happened? Are you allergic to the bees? Uh, no, I'm not allergic, but I was playing with some friends when I was like eight or nine years old. And we were like swiveling. You were what? I, I was swiveling. Uh, okay. me. Okay. And I, I fall, fall down, and when I put my hands in the ground, there was a bee, and the bee uh, stung in my finger. And okay, I felt, your thumb, your thumb. For, yes, uh -huh, in my thumb. And I, felt, uh, uh, and I felt pain, right, in my thumb. And I was, uh, it was the first time that a bee uh, stung on, on me. And it was like very uh, painful. Painful for you. In English, we have the yes. word itch. Tenemos la itch. palabra itch. ¿Y qué cosa es itch? Gete? Or Gete itchy? Pica? Exactly. Itch. But it was itch. not itchy. It was painful. Ah, it was painful. Yeah, it was not itchy. I mean, ah, okay. it felt like pain where, some, where someone pinch at you like this. Mm -hmm. When someone pinch you. Like that, did but very you, strong. Did you take any pills? Did very did strong you take any pills? But did you take any pills? Because I remember no. I was stung by a bee and I was taking aspirin or something like that. To be honest, I don't remember. No, no, no. I didn't took any pills. No? No. I just felt anywhere? the pain. Yeah, I was just felt like somebody was like um, okay. doing like this to you. Very in a strong way. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, there's there's something that we call paracetamol. 
Have you tried yes, it? Uh -huh. Acetamol, yes. In English, yes. we have the same. The name is the same for acetamol. Is when you mm -hmm. when you have fever or something like that. Well, I, yes. I tried uh -huh. that one. Okay. Next question. Uh, do you like honey? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Actually, we we always have uh, honey in our house. Oh, you have honey in our house in yes. your house. Okay. Yes. And how, how do you how do you consume it? Maybe um, breakfast. In breakfast, maybe. yes. We usually eat uh, pancakes and with uh, banana pancakes with the uh, honey. Ah, with the honey. You usually have banana pancakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have a question that this is not a like common question. Bees are extremely important in, in connection to pollination of food crops. Yes. You can uh -huh. sometimes find articles about this in the press. Do you know anything about the bee population in your country? Uh, actually, I don't. <laughs> you don't? Okay. No. No problem. No problem. So now before we before we finish the class, and I want you to use all the words that you know. Okay. So I have a question. What is a man doing, Raul? What is a man doing? Okay. The man is um uh, harvesting. Harvesting? Harvesting. Harvesting the huh? the honey. The honey and honey. He is and and what is he what is he doing with he, with his hands? He's grabbing the oh my honey? gosh I forgot the words the honey the honey cam the honey cam, cam. Uh -huh, honey the cam. honey cam right you know yes. that there are there are a lot of prismatic prismatic what Pris, prismatic uh wax wow. wax cells, cells. Uh -huh. wax, wax cells. cells yes remember this is not a colony right because they don't have no. what they don't have the, the they're not in the tree. The they're, they're not, yes. They're not on the tree. Oh, in the big queen. The big queen. Uh-huh. And and they don't have a bee. Beehive. 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 Yes. Of course. Beehive. And what what is he wearing? What is he wearing? Uh he's wearing the uh globes, some globes. Some globes. And uh a veil. And a the veil. veil. Is a, a protective veil, veil, of course. It's a to avoid uh, getting stung by the bees. Okay, you can say, for example, yo no, yo evito que mis hijos fumen. Digo, I oh, prevent, to prevent. Maybe? I prevent uh -huh, my prevent. son or my child, my children, from smoking. So you uh -huh. say the uh, the the bee suit or the full body bee suit prevents. Mm -hmm. The beekeeper from being stung. Stung. Uh -huh. De ser picado. Uh -huh. Maybe yes. is, he, is he in a meadow? Or what do you think? Is he in a meadow? Uh, no, I think he's in a property. Yes, inside the property, inside his yes. own property, right? Property, maybe maybe. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and there are some rocks here. Yes. Uh, okay. Would you like to be uh, a, a beekeeper? Maybe would you like to work as a beekeeper in the future? Maybe? Yeah, maybe it's not a bad idea because uh, you can do it in your own house, maybe in your own property. Yes, of course. Do you know that this is a good hobby in the US? Not so really. when they don't have nice. anything to do, they usually have mm -hmm. a, a honey gum. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's kind of dangerous because uh, maybe you don't know if you're if you if you have a family member that is allergic to to, to the, the sting to the of the bee, so uh, of course, yeah. But you have but to maybe we, have a a room or, or something closed so you can prevent the the bees flying all over the place, right? Uh, okay, yeah, that's true. But believe it or not, it's like for example in Peru, some people they and uh, they breed they breed guinea uh -huh. bee guinea pigs so guinea pigs would be like bees in the u.s so okay. there are uh -huh. always people that are some people who are like harvesting bees all the time siempre okay. es muy común que tengan su honey mm -hmm. camp or su beehive es por eso que hay accidentes con los beehive mm -hmm. okay yes. si pues dejamos en los videos de tiktok de estados unidos siempre hay mm -hmm. gente golpeando los beehives okay Ooh. and, and yeah. yes they, they, they do that all the time. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Vamos a quedar aquí. See, for the next lesson, we have more words. Más conversación.
Okay. Eh, te, voy a, te, te voy a enviar. No, yo te envié el PDF, right? Yes. Uh -huh. eh, yeah, tu right. único trabajo es chequearte eh, los significados de las, de las palabras de decir, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Mambo, implored, and words like that. So, if okay. you have time para la siguiente lección, te puedes mm -hmm. conectar unos 10 minutos antes. Ok. okay para que nos, nos dé un poco más de tiempo. Ok. Ok, perfect. Conéctate 10, okay. 12 minutos antes, no, no hay problema. Yo siempre me conecto 12 a 13 minutos antes. So, te conectas y podemos iniciar un poco más antes. Ok. okay Any questions? Uh, no, I am ok. Thank you, Carlos. Ok. That would be all. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Chao, chao.